tribe welcome welcome to sarita's intuitive love guidance my name is sarah i'm going to be doing the daily divine masculine check see what's going on with our masculines on how they are currently feeling today so let's go ahead and get started and see what's going on with our masculines i am offering spiritual guidance phone calls with me so if you would like to book um a phone call with me my information is down below you know sometimes we need someone to talk to about our situation vent sometimes not a lot of everyone understands the twin flame journey and i'm just here to provide some kind of clarity guidance um on your current situation trying to shed some kind of light and maybe help you with whatever you're going through so let's go ahead and get started these are the live tarot twin flame card so let's see Ooh, we have outcome and chaser so your mask is going to be in an energy of wanting to come towards you divine femmes i do feel like they you either have been rejecting them or they've been rejecting you i'm not quite sure who's who but do know that your masculine is feeling at a loss at the current moment I feel like maybe there was some kind of ending or I'm done energy, some kind of conclusions, ending of a cycle may not be here and you could be trying to reject your divine masculines, divine femmes, and your masculine is wanting to chase after you, wanting to come towards you. Some of these masculines may not have said that or have tried. This could be an energy of them wanting to chase after you, but holding back. Some of your masculines are chasing after you and you are rejecting them or denying out of fear, doubt, and worry. But your masculine definitely feels a loss without you, Divine Femmes. And they're wanting to bring some kind of resolution um, with you. So let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculines on how they're feeling towards Divine Femmes. Romance. So... I do feel, <coughs> excuse me, your masculine definitely wants to open up to you, wanting to reveal their feelings for you. Some of these masculines may want to take a trip with you. You may have some one-on-one -on -one time coming your way with your masculines. But I do feel this is an energy of things may have been on pause. And I feel like, yes, you may have an action currently right now. But I also feel there's this coming forth energy of wanting to come towards you. So I also get the hangman energy, Paul stagnant energy. So I'm not quite sure how this will resonate for your situation because this is a collective and I'm going to try to pull multitudes of different sides of this situation for you. But there's a sun on the horizon. So there is some... Um, healing energy revitalization energy coming your way vitality what else is going on with the divine masculine unawakened and home so this is feeling like your masculine wants to come back home and i just did a reading with that yesterday but I feel like so, this is like that Paul's energy of, or Spirit just said two folds. Your mask is kind of unaware of the, the twin flame journey and is still kind of dealing with their ego. And so they're wanting to come home to you, wanting to move towards you, but they're really scared. They're allowing their ego to get in the way of coming towards you and sometimes the darkness could be their fear doubt and worry and you are mirroring the same things divine femmes i feel like if your masculine comes towards you you're feeling the same way like i don't know if this is real i don't know if i can trust you i don't know if you're here to stay have you left your third party situation your masculine feels at home with you and they're wanting to come back home because y'all souls are as one but they're still in that ego energy. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? Two cards. Yep, see, and what did I just say about the ego? Still pride. There's still jealousy energies. 
um, scared to let their walls down. But some of these masculines, they want to jump, they want to take action, but it's up to them. The ball is in their court, I feel like. You're ready to be receptive to them, Divine Femmes, but it has to come from a place of them being done with a third-party situation, them leaving a situation, you know, having healthy boundaries. And healthy boundaries is setting um, intentions of what you are wanting. It's saying, hey, I'm not going to deal with this, 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 this. And if you are not ready to step up, then we cannot be together. Then we need to reevaluate what we're doing. Let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculines on how they're feeling towards Divine Femme. The Judge. So we definitely have justice here. Um, your masculine's wanting some kind of balance back with you. Wanting some balance because I do feel like there are things that are in turmoil currently. There's a lot of heartache, confusion. And there needs to be justice. Justice needs to be served. Whether your masculine needs to go get a divorce, leave a third party situation, break up, find themselves, do some healing. Whatever that is that is in between you and your masculine that's causing all this turmoil. I do see water energy here, so a lot of emotions are at play. Sorry, I just want to show you all the cards. And... So let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculines. This is an energy that your masculine is in an energy of could be dedicated to work a lot and they may have committed um, to a situation. They have spoke of some kind of communication. They try to be honest. Um, but I'm getting more of a dedication towards you, Divine Femmes. Yes, they may have focused on their career or maybe career is an issue. Or maybe they don't have a job and that could be a wedge between you and your masculine because they could be really focused on financial situation. Um, but I'm getting more of your masculine is very dedicated, wanting union with you, have may have some kind of communication coming in if they haven't already said that already. I feel like they may have kind of tried to present you some kind of goals of themselves, of working on themselves, wanting to get themselves together, wanting to have justice, wanting balance back into you and your masculine's relationship because you have the lovers here, faded flames. There's a desire here, a union that they want. But I, I do feel there's still a lot of ego involved if you are not hearing from your masculine. <clears throat> and if they went into an awakened stage and all of a sudden came back out, that could be a possibility. Sometimes life can trigger your masculine. And it's like all of a sudden you see all this growth coming from your masculine and they get triggered and then all of a sudden... They relapse and become unawakened again. They get back into their karmic cycle again. And it's like, wow, you're just right there. I was seeing growth in you when all of a sudden a trigger happened to the masculine and they got back to their pride and ego. And it could be a situation between you and the masculine. Kind of got in a, a fight or an argument that caused your masculine to pull back. To like show their feathers like in their ego, like puffing their chest, wanting to be authority and take lead and take charge and be stubborn. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? Yeah, I do feel like there's a lot of emotions at play, guys. There's a lot of turbulent energy, a lot of reaction. Um, both of you could be re mirroring each other's energy reacting to one another emotionally so be careful of the words you cast out when you are mad or upset because of your reaction of whatever so slow to speak try to listen to understand what your masculine is feeling and I can't speak for the masculine and tell them hey 
do the same thing but you can lead by example and it's going to take a lot of work it's going to take a lot of strength to not feel like you have to go eye for eye to go down to their level divine femmes you know we got to take the high road we got to show them you know we want to be the change we want to see in our relationship and we can't go tick for tack as much as it's like our flesh wants to that is not going to bring success in you and your masculine's union it's going to cause more friction and tension between you and your masculine a lot of turbulence energy that you want to go to the moon you want connection you want this union with your masculine you want success so you got to set yourself up for success to get it um i know it's like well he or she doesn't do it well you know what you have to be the bigger person divine femmes and since you are in your soul growth and your soul journey step into your divine feminine energy be the empress be empowered don't stoop down to the low vibration energies so what else is going on with the divine masculine spirit on how they're feeling towards divine femmes divine guidance so this is the hierophant i believe the search of meaning in life consider an alternative approach surround yourself with wise teachers of or friends and that's the thing your masculine wants to come together they're, they're trying to find the meaning of life. They feel this soul connection, this deep soul um, union that they're wanting with you. And they know that they need divine guidance. They need divine intervention. And so maybe there's a, a, an energy here that y'all need to have an alternative approach. You need to adjust you and your master's situation. Because whatever situation you are in right now, it's not working. It's not helping. And so... There is something that needs to be considered. And as it says, consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Find a community that's going to help bring you some kind of guidance to help you navigate this situation. And this is why I like to offer phone call readings or phone call spiritual guidance. Because I'm here to help you as a wise teacher to bring you some kind of divine guidance of your situation to help you navigate and not cause any more turbulence, to not self-sabotage this connection, and to bring you closer. And I don't know that it may be with your masculine or more just closer with your one, your own self, your own soul, your own um, well-being. You know, this is part of your soul journey. What else is going on with the divine masculines? Ten of Raphael. Wow, this is beautiful. Ten of Cups, guys. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. Happily ever after. Your masculine wants a happily ever after with you, Divine Femmes. They see the love and blessings that you fill them in their lives. And they want to come together. It's just up to them to make that decision. To let go of ego. To bring justice to this relationship. To put... To speak truth to you. But that's the thing. It's like <coughs> we they want that and you want that. Now, where are, is the connection to make that happen? What are the next steps are you going to take that is going to be effective? Going around in circles, back and forth with your masculine. Um, going tick for tack is not going to help. Sending lots of love, sowing loving seeds to your masculine, um, being the love that you want to see, being the change you want to see is going to help. But um, you have to decide what your route is with your masculine. Is it something that you're going to have to go separate ways in the meantime to heal? What is it that is it for you? So really think about that, Divine Femmes. You know, is your masculine being an asset or a liability currently in your life? And if there being more of a liability, then it's something that you're going to have to really reevaluate and take a step back because it's not time for union right now. It's time for spiritual growth, spiritual ascension. It's time to work on self so y'all can come back together and serve this higher purpose for the universe, for this mission in life, for your purpose in life. But if it's not bringing 
an asset to your life, then that is something that you're really going to have to contemplate and think, where do I need to reevaluate myself? What We need to take an alternative approach in this situation. Because ultimately, you're going to self-sabotage the connection. If both of y'all are unhealed, if both of y'all are not in a space of the capacity to make this work. It takes two to make a relationship work. So let's see what else we got going on. What else is going on with the Divine Masculine Spirit on how they're feeling towards Divine Femmes? Divine Feminine. They're thinking about you, Divine Femmes. They miss your friendship. And that's the thing. Sometimes you have to rebuild your, your friendship. Not go headstrong in wanting a relationship ASAP. And wanting to go to an end goal of we need to be together and I, we need to be committed. You know, sometimes it just takes rebuilding that connection and friendship with your mask. And maybe at one point y'all were like best friends and then lost sight of that. Now it's time to reevaluate where you're at and it's like okay you know what i need to start from scratch i need to rebuild maybe you had a tower moment but tower moments are a space for you to rebuild something that is withstanding that's going to stand the storms and so your masculine really misses you in their connection the friendship the fun vibes the childlike vibes not the serious we need to have emotional talks and you know, what's going to happen? What are you doing with your wife or your husband? We need to know answers. Just have some fun. Be in a lighthearted energy. <coughs> Excuse me. So what else is going on with the Divine Masculine? Yeah, they're mirroring. They're, they're contemplating this ending with you, Divine Femmes. Whatever the ending was, a cycle, a fight, a situation that was kind of left y'all... Um, uncertain of the future may have felt like an ending to you but your masculine is mirroring whatever you're feeling about the situation that you're currently going in you are feeling worried your masculine's feeling worried if you're feeling doubtful your masculine's feeling doubtful y'all are mirroring each other's energy and mirroring is part of having to really look in the mirror and reflect and go within and think about the situation Reflect on your actions. Reflect on your own words that you've casted out. You know, your own thoughts that you're putting out into the universe. Thoughts become reality, guys. Your thoughts manifest. So if you're putting out fear, doubt, worry, guess what? It's manifesting. It's coming out more in your life. You are the creator of your life. Not the victim or a survivor of your life. Be a creator. Get out of those low vibration energy and... Tap into something higher. Peace, love, joy. But you can't put your peace, love, joy, happiness in your masculine. You have to find that for yourself. You can't give your masculine that, that responsibility to make you happy. That's your own responsibility. And that's why we say fill your own cup of love first. Self-love. So you can pour out and pour into others. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? resistance yeah and they feel this resistance guys they feel it they feel your anxious energy they feel it so they're not going to want to come towards you if you are going to be resistance towards the masculine if you're going to put a wall up or guard up and be on your high horse and in your ego energy as well they feel the resistance and i'm not saying you are but this is only going to be pinpointed to certain people and you'll know who this is for you know get real with yourself get real with yourself and be like yeah i did have a wall up yeah i am resistant because i am fearful i am doubtful i don't trust the masculine and so there are things that you need to let go and i do feel like your masculines want to let go of past hurt so y'all can move forward but that's going to take healing. That's going to take some time. And you are going to really have to put in the work to let go of past hurt, past memories. So really figure out what this resistant energy is for you. And let it go. Because it's not serving you and your masculine's union. 
in relationship. Get real with yourself. Are you in a, a, a hamster wheel with your masculine? If so, then figure it out. What do you need to do to make some adjustments in there? Maybe you don't know. So that's why I really offer the phone reading so I can help guide you and give you some clarity on your situation. What else is going on? New beginnings. See, and your masculines want this, divine femmes. Look at this growth. You saw the last picture of endings. It was all dark. But that's because your masculine wants to let go of past hurt. They're wanting to move forward. They're, they're tired of talking about the same stuff over and over again. You know, if you're going to keep saying, are, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's not allowing for you and your masculine's friendship to even grow and thrive if you're just going to beat a dead horse. So it's it's something about you have to really contemplate on and think about. You know, if you are wanting new growth with your mask and new vitality, then you're going to have to set yourself up for success. And what is that for you? What is that for you? Let's see what Divine Masculine's blocks are with you, Divine Femmes. What is Divine Masculine's blocks? Winter. So I don't know if someone's being very cold. Maybe something is going to happen in the winter. Maybe there's going to be a situation in the winter. What is Divine Masculine's blocks? With Divine Femmes. Forgiveness. That's the blocks, guys. I feel like there's a lack of forgiveness. There's a lack of grace. It's a lack of letting go. You know, in, there's, in part of seasons in life, it's allowing things to end for, new, for something new to start. And so the block is learning lessons, figuring out what adjustments needs to be made in your current relationship. Who do you need to forgive? Yourself? Your masculine? Both? But there needs to be some grace and forgiveness. And grace and forgiveness is not saying you are letting go of the hurt and you're going to accept their issues and their, their wrongs. No, forgiveness is for you, Divine Femmes. It's for you to let go of that burden that you're carrying to set yourself free and just to feel free and lighthearted because it's like being in this bitterness, resentment, angry, upset energy is not serving you. It's not serving you and it's going to be a cold winter month if you continue to operate in that same vibration and frequency that you have been. It needs There needs to be a change. And whether that change is going to be in the winter that's up to you, or there are going to be some more endings. So let's see what else is going on with our masculines. Angel spirits, and guys, what else is going on with the divine masculines on how they're feeling towards divine femmes? Surrender. They're wanting to surrender, Divine Femmes. They're wanting to let go of the negativity. They're wanting forgiveness. They're wanting to wave the white flag and say, like, I give up. I'm tired of going in this situation. And yes, yeah, some of these situations, their masculines put themselves in. Rightfully so. But I do feel like there needs to be some boundaries set. And... There needs to be some limits. What is it? What else is going on with the Divine Masculines on how they're feeling? They're wanting to rise above. You know, they're wanting to surrender their ego and struggle and return to love. Reconnect with their heart. But I do feel like they're suppressing it. They're bottling up their emotions. Um, because I do feel... Um, they don't feel like they can feel safe with you, Divine Femmes. Maybe you're always bringing up the past. And I'm not saying that what you're bringing up isn't valid, Divine Femmes. But there needs to be some adjustments because it's just not working. And it's causing more of a wedge and causing your masculine to suppress even more and bottling up emotions. 
that it's not drawing you and your masculine closer to each other. So what are the ch adjustments that are going to be made? Um, what else is going on? Comfort zone and divine femmes. I do feel like some of these masks stay in their comfort zone. They are scared of change, so they may stay stuck in a third party situation. But that's when they're going to really need to lean on you, divine femmes, for them to come back home. <coughs> for them to really have a safe place with you, divine femmes. And it's going to take a lot of work to provide that, to bring comfort to the masculine, to know, hey, I'm here for you. And I know you may have tried that numerous times, but maybe there's a different approach. Maybe there's still irritation and resentment and disappointment that is still bottled up, that still is projected into this relationship, that is still causing your mouth to stay in that hermit mode um, comfort zone. Let's see what else we got going on with the masculine spirit. Two, we got tree wisdom and purity. So this tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sound it makes. You know what I'm getting is like divine femmes, you are wisdom, you're wise, you're way more ascended than the masculines. And it's going to require your help to navigate them through their current situation. If you and your masculines are in communication, you know, your flute, your allure, your energy is going to help reveal some insights and directions that your mouse is going to need. So that is something to really think about of what, you know, your role is in this union and purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answers to your questions. You know, I do feel like it's tapping into our, our heart chakra and our heart and knowing that the answers are within you. You just got to trust your gut and come from a place of love, divine femmes. Sowing loving seeds. I tell everyone, sow loving seeds, sow loving seeds. Be kind, be kind, be loving. Because I'm telling you, love will warm the hardest hearts in your masculines you will see the 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 shift and the changes when you come from a place of love versus a come from a place of resentment and anger and hurt and doubt because it's just going to reap more of that i hope that makes sense um Let's go ahead and give you advice. So what advice do you have for the Divine Femme who are watching this? Ooh, it's time to mend some bridges, Divine Femmes. I heal rifts and I am a mender. It's going to really take you taking the higher road, Divine Femmes. It's time to mend some bridges. It's time to be the change you want to see in this relationship. It's time to... Um, get aligned in balance and to communicate freely communicate with love though you know is your words death or life are they helpful or are they hurtful really reevaluate your communication of what you're projecting and saying out to your masculines because it's really important to be mindful of the words you cast out because they are death or life. They can help and unhurt. They can heal or, um, what's the other word? I don't know. You know what I mean. But be mindful of the words you are casting out, Divine Femmes. All right, guys, much love to you.